So I've been selling on Etsy for almost 10 years and I make flower crowns for dogs. Part of my job here at Etsy is to educate sellers on how to optimize their shops and listings. And a common question that I get asked all the time is how to turn around a listing that seems to be underperforming. So today I'm gonna share a few quick tips that you can try in your own shop when a listing seems to have hit a sales slump. So when you notice a listing is no longer receiving many views or views have stopped converting to sales, there are steps you can take to diagnose what could be happening and determine how to respond. So first, you'll need to gather more information. You'll wanna analyze your Etsy stats, do some research on e-commerce trends, and ask for feedback from your peers. So when analyzing stats, review longer timeframes, at least 30 days. Compare year over year data, if you can. So longer timeframes give you a clearer sense of how your numbers are trending. Avoid making assumptions or reacting to buyer behavior observed in short timeframes. Keep an eye on what inventory is moving through your shop quickly and think critically about why it's selling at a higher rate. Look at your search terms list in stats to help determine which high performers are bringing the most traffic to your shop. And think about developing a more robust product line based on these top items. If your shop has been open for a year, look at how your shop was performing during the same time last year. This can help you recognize and plan for seasonal sales trends in your shop. Next, you'll wanna dive into market research. First, capture insights from questions and reviews. Pay attention to the details that your customers are sharing and the questions that they're asking. Encourage buyers to leave feedback with a short note in the message to buyers section of the Etsy order confirmation email. Communication and feedback can help you learn more about the unique needs, use cases, and expectations of your customers. Next, learn about relevant lifestyles from social media. So think of social media as an opportunity to communicate directly with your customers. Pay close attention to which posts generate more conversation than others, so you can lean into that type of content later in the future. Finally, you'll wanna ensure you get feedback from your peers. So visit community.etsy.com and share a link to your listing with other sellers in the forums. There are many sellers there who give great advice. So our seller community is an extremely valuable resource. Don't miss out on the opportunity for their insight. Now that you've checked out your stats, reviewed market research, and received feedback from other Etsy sellers, you're ready to take some next steps into search engine optimization, also known as SEO. So products can only perform well when they're easy to find, right? Optimizing your products for Etsy search requires putting yourself in the mindset of shoppers and routinely revisiting your titles, your tags, and your descriptions to make sure they're working for you. Consider holidays, seasonality, marketplace trends, and the words and phrases that people typically use to describe items like yours. And be sure to consider also how those words and phrases can shift over time. I'd also suggest you revisit any one word tags or terms that you're using and really try to stretch yourself and think of some new compound descriptive phrases that buyers might be using to find your pieces. Doing so can help you reach a new audience and potentially tap into a broader customer base. And if you're unsure where or how to start making these adjustments, my best advice would be to go back to your shop stats. If you find that you have words and phrases that are not appearing in your shop stats consistently, then these keywords aren't working as well for you as they could be. So you might consider removing these keywords and trying out others. This can be a time intensive process, but it provides you with an opportunity to experiment with new titles and new tags if you find that the older ones aren't as beneficial to your listing's performance. Next, let's discuss the conversion rate element of search ranking. So remember, there are two phases of how Etsy search works, query matching and ranking. So with query matching, a buyer enters a query into Etsy search and we look at all the inventory of listings that match that query. We just discussed updates for keywords and phrases to help with this portion. Next comes ranking. So behind the scenes of search, we rank matching listings based on a variety of factors. One key factor is how well a listing converts. So how many people viewed it and then made a purchase to determine whether or not buyers are interested in it, which boosts that listing's quality score 
and its placement in search results. So let's go over a few things that can impact a listing's conversion rate. First, I want to talk about photos. So online shoppers rely on photos so much since they can't pick up, examine an item before buying it. Your first photo should be click-worthy, so grabbing a buyer's attention and encouraging them to click on it to learn more. Your other listing photos and video should show what makes your item unique from every angle. Next is shipping. So fast and affordable shipping options and competitive prices can make listings more attractive to shoppers. So aim for short yet realistic processing times and consider opting into Etsy's free shipping guarantee and offering sales and discounts periodically. Next, don't forget about listing descriptions. So keep them short and informative, but still engaging and written in your brand's voice. Make sure you're highlighting the key details there too. Finally, additional elements of your shop, including policies, your about section, branded elements like your shop banner, and great reviews from other buyers can help shoppers feel more confident and excited about making a purchase. So if you try optimizing all of the above and it still doesn't seem to move the needle, consider running a promotion on your listing. So shoppers love finding a good deal and running some sort of discount could help you understand if the performance was actually more due to the item's price point. No matter what, remember to track your progress and keep on experimenting. Mm -hmm.